to live and for the first time ever, our main source of drinking water named the most endangered in all of the country. More than one million people in the Carolinas rely on the Catawba River. WCNC reporter Mario Don joins us now from our mobile newsroom with one, one group's warning tonight. Mario. Biological and economical havoc. It's one way environmentalists describe drought effects to the river. Now that the Catawba is on the list as most endangered, others reply Crimea River. The fishing's getting better. But the future of our drinking water source could be getting worse. We work on creating solutions rather than creating hype. The environmental group American Rivers has the Catawba River at the top of their endangered list, worst in the nation. The main reason, poor water supply management. Baloney. That's, I mean, I've been here all my life. There ain't nothing wrong with this river, man. Duke Energy manages the Catawba and calls the river healthy. The utility is currently reapplying for its permit and points to the handling of the current drought as proof that the river is well managed. Although current lake levels appear to be rebounded with current spring rains, don't be fooled. The new river keeper and some politicians both north and south of the border agree. I don't want to fear monger and say, oh yeah, in 10 years this river is going to dry up. But environmentalists warn that without new policies to control growth and water demand, eventually the river won't be enough. And the reason we are effective is that we are not on the left wing fringe. We, are, we work with local communities, we work with elected officials. The most endangered designation does not mean that the Catawba is the most polluted. Reporting from our mobile newsroom in Mecklenburg County, I'm Mario Roldan.